Our playground needs some stairs at this point, and we'll make them fairly simple. Draw a rectangle from this midpoint inference to the corner of the platform, and pull this shape out four feet. Navigate to see the bottom side and pull this rectangle down using the base of the pillars to infer to. Now use the tape measure tool to create a guide 12 inches away from this top edge and 8 inches down from this side edge. Use the pencil tool to draw a line from the guides we just created. Then hit the escape key to stop drawing additional lines. At this point, we have a number of guidelines we don't need anymore. Guides can be deleted with the eraser tool, but you can also clear all guides by going to the edit menu and choosing delete guides. One of the important concepts of SketchUp is that you are using the drawing tools to create simple or even complex surfaces that you can then push or pull. We can select these two edges, copy them a few times to create a stair shape that could then be carved away with the push-pull tool. Start by selecting just these two edges. Remember to hold the shift key to add or subtract from your selection. With these edges selected, use the Move tool and make sure to start the move from this endpoint. As we try to move these edges, it's warping the geometry, but simply tap Control or Option on a Mac to activate a copy and move exactly to this endpoint. Now, if you are very comfortable with the array function, that we introduced previously, you could array these edges, but you can also simply move and copy these edges two more times. Do whatever you are comfortable with. You should end up with a final stair shape that we can cut away with the push-pull tool. For the lower part of the stairs, you can leave the whole form or carve away some area of it. It's your choice. I'm gonna draw a simple arc from edge to edge and carve away that shape with push-pull. Whatever you choose, remember to group our stairs before moving on.